All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where today we are starting off, whoops, um, on a bad note. <laughs> Accidentally uh, retained my vehicle. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and look. We're here in Zimogorsk. We've got three trucks loaded up, ready to go. And we have to head into the quarry, where we will be heading to the logging station to grab... Technically six loads of medium logs, but uh, for a bigger boat, we only need three. So we'll probably leave one of the trailers there and then take two trucks. Drive them here, drop them off, good to go. And then turn around and take the other truck and then the trailer and bring it to... I believe we have to go to the quarry for that one, so... Um, it kind of makes sense in my head. We're going to find out if it makes uh, sense when I do it, because that's probably when things are going to change. But first of all, first things first, I want to uh, do a little bit of customization because we've got sun visors we can throw on. Let's go ahead and throw those on. We've got a savior. I, you know, it's basically a rigid metal frame. To protect the truck. Uh, let's go ahead and throw that on. Why not? Uh, we definitely want to get our roof trunk repair supplies. Or, yeah, roof. I like how it's called trunk and it's rooftop. Anyways, uh, it's also it's glitching through those uh, lights. I don't know if you guys notice it there. Anyways, not that big of a deal. It's also glitching, glitching through the antenna as well, so uh, somebody kind of dropped the ball. On that one uh, but we're gonna slap those on top just for extra uh, repair supplies uh, and uh, yeah we're gonna throw on the uh, <clears throat> we're gonna throw on the uh, spare wheel as well and now we got roof fog lights um, yeah I think we I think we got to go with those as well uh, it does get rid of the other lights but I think those are going to be much, much better. So let's go ahead and leave now that we are completely decked out. Uh, you know what? One more thing I wanted to do. I wanted to see about them wheels. Uh, let's throw... Uh, which ones were they? Uh, I want to say... No, I want to say it was these ones. Yeah, we're going to go with these ones. These are nice and wide. I don't really know if you get more ground clearance. Doesn't really appear to be, and they're, they're all 61 inch tires, so... Anyways, let's go... Uh, let's go with these ones here. And uh, yeah, hopefully we made a good decision. Uh, but let's go ahead and leave the garage. It is now nighttime. So let's skip to morning. Fire this truck up. I gotta turn on my uh, audio real quick. Alright, there we go. And uh, yeah, let's get to uh, this show on the road. I almost said boat on the road. I don't, I don't know. I think I'm still a little... Um, I don't want to say hungover, but I feel like I still have a little bit of uh, fogginess from the uh, the cold I had last week. But let's go ahead and attach this. And of course it's too far away. It's still too far away because I am not very good at backing up anymore. Did the... Uh, I think I lost the rims. I don't remember these rims being this, sh this, this silver chromish. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and I think what we're going to do is, uh, let's jump in the Azov and we will take the Azov and we will pull the Vaughn D with that. Yeah, and we'll at least get into the quarry. We're going to have to split the trucks up. Um, but yeah, I think we'll be okay. I I think what I'm going to do 
is hopefully not crash too horribly bad, but nope, it's already, it's too late. Let's just get each individual truck into uh, where it needs to go. We're not, uh, we're not actually that far away from uh, the quarry drop-off point, so. Come on. <laughs> okay, so we can send that one across. Go ahead and get you out of the way. We're going to go back. Zimmergorsk. Uh, let's jump in the Van D. Why not? The Von Veron. I keep calling it the Von D. I don't really know why. It's the Veron D. Voron. Yeah. I, I, I tend to put a Von, an N there for some reason. Alright, well this truck is uh, definitely a lot more uh, responsive than the other two trucks that we're driving. It definitely has a lot more clearance, although it still kind of stumbled there. It did, it did a pretty decent job. <clears throat> I don't think I've actually used this truck before for logging so it'll be uh, kind of interesting so let's go ahead and change fire up the truck fire up the truck thank you catch the winch and let's head over to the logging now we can technically go we can go here but I don't think that really helps us out that much. Um, yeah, we might as well just go here and get the logging. Go to the original logging uh, camp and get uh, our logs, because I, I don't think there's a limit. There may be a limit at the other one. So I, I prefer not to, to run into that issue. And yeah, I think what I'm going to do... Oh. Man. That, uh... That truck behind us likes to cut corners really... sharp. Anyways, I think what I'm going to do... Is possibly take this truck and tow... The other trailer with the winch. And then that way I only have to bring one truck. Although, this truck does lack fuel, so that could be an issue. That could be a very big issue, actually. What's the Von D look like? Is that one? I'm trying to remember. I think that's in the 80s for fuel tank. Could be wrong. Could be 90s. Could be even worse. I remember that was that was the one flaw with this truck. So I gotta check to see if there's a, a roof rack. Maybe we can pack on a couple uh, extra gallons. Yeah, right now I'm moving slow. Let's go ahead and drop that truck off. Yeah, see, you, you do move faster, and I know, I know the uh, the Von D is faster than this one. So I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get there faster doing two different loads. Although my driving is horrible. <laughs> oh, I can't stay on the road to save my life. Uh, where do I need to cut? I need to cut here. Probably not the best spot to uh, stop and check the map right before a mud puddle, but or water puddle. Uh, but, you know what? It is what it is. Alright, I'm actually going to not crash. Oh, come on, get off. No, I was afraid of that. Oh, crap. 
I saw the stumps at the last second. And there's just no... Oh man, don't tell me I'm stuck. I mean, clearly I'm stuck, but... Alright, let's try... Winching off to the side? If my camera would want to... Cooperate. There we go. Okay, good. All right, so let's let's go ahead and go all the way to the sawmill. This truck has a wonderful turning radius. And that sign just accidentally fell off. That's that's nice. Good quality uh, workmanship there. Come on. Hmm. You know, this truck seems to be struggling a lot. Let's go ahead and throw it in high gear so it stops trying to shift gears. It does, does do a little better when you put it in high gear. Turn, turn, turn. That was a lot of damage we just took. And I don't know if that officially counts as drafting, but it, uh, <laughs> it very may, may well, uh, not drafting, sorry, drifting. And I missed the turn again. I did that last time, didn't I? Ugh. Anyways. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just drifted down that, uh, that hill. We took a good chunk of damage though to the suspension, trying to go super fast. All right, let's let's make sure that we can get medium logs without uh, having a limit. And no, it doesn't look like there is a limit. Boom! So we are full, ready to go. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is where we drop this trailer off. This truck is, um... It doesn't seem to be up to the task for, uh... For logging. Cargo management... No, thank you. Uh, let's leave it right here. That should be a good spot to drop it off. Now, the Von D, or the... For Voron, Voron. I want to say Veron, but obviously it's not a Veron. <laughs> Maybe I'll just call it the VD. Yeah, that's probably doesn't work either, does it? Not exactly a uh, promising name there. Ooh. We are drifting a lot. The uh, the asphalt is very greasy. But then again, I mean, this, this truck is pretty quick. Let's see how it handles going up the hill. A little bit of mud there, didn't seem too bad. Throw it in high gear up the hill. Yeah, I mean this this truck seems to be doing fairly better. Uh, we do have to watch the speed though, just because it can get uh, a little out of hand. Can we drift down this hill as well. Nope, nope, nope. We lost it. Uh, so close. All right, we got to be careful of all these stumps. I do not want to get stuck. All right, good. So that was kind of a no harm, no foul. And yeah, we're 72 gallons. 
Do we have a fuel stop? I don't think we do. I'm not gonna lie, I think it might be smart to bring the uh... Oops. I think it might be smart to bring the uh... the Mastodon and probably use that to do this trek because it should be supporting what 140 gallons of fuel that's that's a pretty good amount of fuel so yeah let's let's load this up here so this is going to be for our next mission which hopefully we will finish in this episode uh let's stop the engine there uh change trucks i'm shocked that actually reached this truck we are going to uh you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna bring it out here this is a very tight turn oops crash come on there we go perfect all right so let's go ahead and detach the trailer we're gonna hopefully spin around here. I don't think there's any stumps. Do I see any stumps? I don't see any stumps. I think we, uh... Yeah, I think we're good. And, ho and hopefully I gave myself enough room to get the other truck through there. Eh, if not, we'll just have to shove it out of the way. Alright, so we're already down to 27 gallons of fuel. That is not great. Um, we just have to go to the quarry, but there is a fuel stop there, so maybe, maybe it's best that we do this now. Uh, let's change trucks. This is kind of backwards. <laughs> but I want to make sure that we have enough fuel. Come on, truck. There we go. That's a little uh, discouraging. The, the truck did not want to move. And you know what? It does. It did fairly well. It did fairly well empty, but once you put weight in it, it actually, I, I think it outperformed the, uh, the Azov empty hole oh, it's a completely different story all right well let's see how high gear copes with this hill we've got speed on our side so far yeah, we almost made it Almost made it. Come on, give me low gear. Come on. Seriously. Can't even get a bump from the... Uh... Alright, let's go ahead and detach. I don't want to waste gas any more than I have to. Alright, let's go ahead and stop there. See if we can't... Ooh, come on. Seriously? <laughs> um... There we go. We gotta get some forward momentum. You know, even the even the Azov is struggling up this hill. I'd I'd be more interested to see how the other Azov does, but I don't think that does that doesn't do uh, logging. So all right, so we are whoops. Yeah, I guess we're good there. 
Uh, change trucks. Let's go ahead and start the engine. Get that winch attached. All right. Now we just got to get fuel. And apparently not tip over because for some reason that wanted to uh, sink. Oh my god. Where did when when did this truck become horribly unstable? Wow. What this this truck definitely changes under load. It probably has a raised suspension, so that doesn't help. But now we'll, we'll be on the road shortly, so hopefully that should keep us safe. Come on. Okay, good. We're all good. Yep, we, we've got three loads. I believe our fuel is this way. We're going to have to uh, fuel up and then probably go ahead and switch to the... Uh, to the big truck, the behemoth, the mastodon, the ma I don't know, I was trying to think of other words, that meant big, <laughs> I ran out, um, so let's go ahead and fuel up, and stop this engine, change trucks real quick, I believe we can fuel, yep, we can fuel that out, that was close, that was down to 18, and, uh, Go to the global map. I think we gotta go all the way back to Zergov. Zinomagorsk. <laughs> I still can't pronounce it right. I'd have to I'd have to have a Russian viewer tell me how to pronounce it. And I probably still still wouldn't be able to pronounce it. Yeah, we have 170-ish gallons. Maybe even close to 180 gallons. We've got two loads of spare tires now. We've got everything we need for a nice long trip. And remember, we gotta get this back. We gotta drop off these trailers, so... I mean, we don't have to. I don't, uh, I don't need to. But I would like to. Go ahead and get back on the road. Let's keep going. I really hope we get to finish it this episode because once these two missions are done, we are done with Russia and we can move on. We can go to uh, the Pola Peninsula, which is an ice map of all things. So we'll, we'll, we will be back in the snow. We will have chain tires back. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be, uh, kicking some butt. I mean, that didn't seem phased at all. A wonderful sign. Mm. I wonder what the uh, the game would be like if you just you had this one truck and only this truck. That would uh, make the game a little on the interesting side. I think you would have to have a scout vehicle, uh, and I think everyone knows which scout vehicle that you would choose. And it would probably be the uh, the APC or whatever it's called. I actually, I actually saw one on the road, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before, and while it was slightly designed differently, this one was uh, a lot taller and a lot uh, more vertically designed, I guess is the best way to say it. Um, I don't know what the model number was, I, I, I wish I knew that much information to share with you guys, but uh, yeah, it, it was definitely a force to be reckoned with. Even on the road with civilian cars. Um, 
trailer looks a little weird, didn't it? The trailer actually looks like it's sitting a lot lower. And it, it probably is sitting a lot lower. Eh, a little bit lower, not a lot. Yeah, I definitely like, uh, I like the exoskeleton, thanks to EJ, who uh, reminded me that there were add-ons that I didn't look at, which I'm a little disappointed in myself. I guess it's been a while since I had a new truck, so I'm not used to uh, large trucks like this having add-ons of fuel racks and, and, well, spare tires, yes, but not, uh, not the fuel racks and the uh, repair points. But uh, I just wanted to give him a shout out for uh, calling me out on it and, and <laughs> making me look like a noob. <laughs> All right, so medium logs, trailer, medium logs. All right, so this is going to be the first mission that we're going to undertake. We're going to be going all the way to the shipwreck with every thing we need using one truck. I'd bring two, two trucks normally, but there's not really a point. We can we can get the job done with just this one truck. And a little bit of backing up. Because of course this thing has a turning radius of a 70 foot yacht. Until you clip, uh oh. Until you clip the fence. Oh, I gotta get. I gotta drag the front away. There we go. Let's try that again. And we're gonna sneak on this side. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not gonna lie. I am not 100% sure how this trail is going to be. I think it's going to be wet and soggy. Um, so let's hope that we don't tip this thing over because we do not have a crane. I wish you could attach the two together. I really do wish you could do that. I mean, at this point, I'm, I'm so close with the winch that it feels like it's almost connected. But you know what? We'll just go nice and slow. We'll go nice and slow. In fact, we'll even mark out our path. And... Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll go this way, this way, this way, that way. Uh, do I want to cut? I think this way is probably the best. Uh, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. And I really should have shut off the truck because I wasted just a little bit of gas there. We're going to go nice and steady, slow pace, but not too slow. I mean, I could go low plus. But that is just, mm, that's, that's a little too weak. Remember, I gotta get all three, or I guess all two of these trailers back to a trailer store. Ideally, I mean, I could, I could skip out. I think we have over half a million dollars. Um, oh, I do have to take a left here. All right, that might be uh, a little, a little bit more fun than I was expecting. Keep coming.
Okay, I'm gonna bounce off that telephone pole. Okay, I think we're free. Yep. Alright, that was a dangerous corner, not gonna lie. Probably could have cut the corner. I don't I don't think this truck would have had an issue going through that mud. But remember, it's all over if I uh if I tilt tip over any of these and we lose the logs. Especially that back trailer, because that's probably the one that's gonna tip over the easiest. <clears throat> we will have to uh we will have to do another episode and uh, bring another log load, which will not be ideal. Now, I believe I go right. Yep. Okay, so far so good. We've got a hundred gallons left, so we are good to go there. We may end up having uh, to refuel, but I'm, I'm hoping we can get back. I think there's a trailer store. Is there not a trailer store around here? I guess that's the closest trailer store, so... We are going to have a hike back to a trailer store. And depending on how fast we get there, I may just cut that out. But I've got, I think, $28,000 worth of trailers here. And, well, I'm not going to get paid $28,000 on this mission. So it's, it's one of those ones where... Yeah, you kind of have to bring the trailers back or you lose money in the long run. Okay, we're getting the drop off point. We're still a fair fair ways uh yes I do go right here we're gonna have to make a correction and yep hopefully not uh, crash into anything or tip over We do have to be careful because this is a nice windy path. And I don't I don't want to get hung up on trees. Or stumps. Okay, so far so good. We've made it to the water. It's saying I go. I gotta go around this stump or this uh this island. Do I wanna go around the island or do I just you know what? I think I'm gonna change my mind. I think going this way is uh a little bit easier. I'm trying to make that turn and go over that island and not tip something over just doesn't seem like it's gonna be feasible. And we are just going to slowly take this through. Hey, okay, good news is I got the upgrade that was over there. That's a bonus. I'm not even sure if I've looked up. If we uh, got all the upgrades on this map. I, sh I should probably look into that before we, before we move on. See high gear, yeah. kind of working. Yep, 
Yeah, no, I think it's kind of just the way it is. I really got to do the test. Um, maybe I'll do that next week. On whether or not these tires or the stock tires are better. I think these are the best tires. Besides the stock tire. They are wider. That should be a bonus. Or is it? Because, well, I think it is in mud. When it comes to rock crawling, uh, shockingly, a thinner tire is better. Uh, a thinner tire will actually deform more around the edges of the rock and actually grip more than a wider tire because it won't deform as much at the same PSI level. Uh, which I guess you kind of have to be careful because if it deforms more, that means that it probably depresses the tire in closer to the rim. Uh, so you gotta be careful that you don't damage your rim or bend your rim. But anyway. That's that's just me talking and thinking. I have I really have hardly any experience when it comes to rock climbing or rock crawling or even mudding for that matter. I had a friend in high school that we would go out every once in a while in his suburban and do really stupid stuff because we were teenagers. Um, in fact, one day we had we had a day off at school and we went out and it was probably. And what was it? it? It had to be like April because I remember there was snow on the ground, but it was kind of thawing and it was it was pretty warm for that day. Is that a, I don't remember bringing a jacket. Anyways, we're out on the trails and he decides to go through this one path that is basically water and ice. And sure enough, it uh, we broke through the ice, which high centered the uh, suburban on uh, the differentials and the only thing we had was a high-low jack and so we just we, we we couldn't get the winch close enough to a tree that could pull us so we had to use the high-low jack just to jack up the back end of the Suburban and literally just push it over and we were able to, I think we had to do it twice, and we were able to get the wheels to fall on the, uh, the center rut uh, so that it was out of the, the ice slash water and mud. And then we were able to back out and that took our entire day. We had maybe 30 good minutes of off-roading and then it was another, I want to say, four or five hours of trying to get this vehicle unstuck. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, it was fun. I liked it. I uh, wish he, I wish he didn't turn out to be a, uh, a dick. And yeah, he was kind of, uh, I want to say, spoiled. Um, I wouldn't say he was a rich spoiled, but he was just spoiled to the point where like, I don't know, it just, the, the friendship kind of went south and I'm like, if it didn't, I probably would have been more into off-roading, uh, cause I, I can tend to not do things that I like to do just because I don't have anyone to do them, like auto mechanic stuff. Um, you know, I just, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things. I don't like to try new things, I guess, if I don't know somebody who kind of knows what they're doing. I don't know if that makes sense. If you're a psychiatrist, you know, uh, maybe you can diagnose me. Uh, but <laughs> anyways, I, I'm sure that's probably the case, right? Like, I tend to I tend to play solo video games because I don't have I don't have friends that play video games. It's kind of weird to say, but like my wife likes to do 
like old school NES and Super NES, and I was just, I was, I had an NES, uh, and I have a handful of games, but she was more into like Super Nintendo, and I just, we never had a Super Nintendo, and so I don't, I don't have that nostalgia and, and want to play the, those style of games. And in fact, there's very little of uh, regular Nintendo games that I don't like either. So um, I was, it's funny because I was, I've always been into like racing uh, because I remember Excite Bike on the Nintendo, which absolutely wasted so much of my childhood. But yet I go to play it as an adult and I realize there's nothing to this game. There's absolutely nothing to this game. You can't even keep your uh, your high scores. Like, it's it's that ridiculous. All right, so let's drop that trailer off. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to uh, drop these logs off and then ditch this trailer, get the other trailer. Yeah, it's 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 a fun process. Uh, you know, what? I don't have to. Oh, I do have to pull the trailer in, don't I? No, I don't. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking there. Let's go ahead and, and force this trailer to go somewhere. There is not a whole lot of room to be turning around here, so... It's a little sketchy. Um... Okay. Hey, developers, you might want to fix that. There is a huge founding box that is nowhere near that item. Okay, let's try to... Nope, nope, nope. Let's not try to tip over the truck. We're just going to have to make a 20 point turn. There we go, perfect. <clears throat> All right, you know what? It looks like we can do this. We got a pretty capable truck. I think we can dip through here real quick. We can uh, see how well this uh, treads water. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it off right about here. We'll use we'll use the winch to uh, yank it out. I like the little side lights on this truck, like. I don't remember those being there. They must be a part of the exoskeleton. But they're uh, they're kind of cool the way they just light up the side of the truck so that you can see. Really doesn't doesn't help me out playing the game, but in you know in real life when you have to get out and work on the truck or whatever, or even trying to park it at night, it helps to see all that stuff. So, all right, let's go ahead and back this up. The reverse lights do suck on this truck though. I'm not gonna lie there. Um, yep, we're attached. Alright, and a bigger boat is uh, is almost complete. And I think what I'm gonna do is uh, yeah, we're gonna drop that off. That was only $6,000. That, that really wasn't that great. Oh well, you know what? Then again, it technically wasn't all that hard, so... Let's try to get this turned around. At the very least. We are just destroying this uh, topography here. It looks like a nut house went on here. Come on. 
turn. I guess it helps if I wait for the tires to uh, finish turning before I accelerate. Oh, we tipped the trailer over. That's all right. Okay, so we're down to 44 gallons. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. We went through about 90 gallons and hopefully we'll have 70 some gallons or so left to, uh, to get back. Yeah, I was like, what's going on? I'm stuck in fifth gear. And I'm not moving that fast. <laughs> Alright, so no point to uh, attach this, so let's, let's go ahead and stop that engine. Let's jump in the Vordi. Is that the one that we're doing first? It is. All the trucks should be gassed up. Good to go. Turn on our lights. Why does it feel like oh, okay? Wait. All right. I, for some reason, it felt like I didn't have uh, the other truck attached. So that is a very tight turn. No! 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 Oh! <laughs> Not cool. Not cool at all. I knew that was a tight turn. I knew it was. I don't have a crane. All right. Well, you know what, guys? That uh, pretty much just ruined a perfect episode. Uh, let's go ahead and head down into the quarry with this. Well, we are going to have to do another episode. That's ah, okay. You know what? It's not the end of the world. I was hoping Monday would be a new map. But it is what it is. And the best part is is we still technically have to get down here in the quarry without uh without crashing. Oy vey, man, that is just, that is a bummer. And floating stick. I like that. I like how there's little glitches like that still. Come on. Alright, we gotta go past the water. There's my crater. There's the crater. We'll go around the crater. I guess the worst part about this is too is that we gotta get these trucks out of the the, the quarry so that we can uh, get rid of the trailers and sell those back. So um, let's cut through here. There's a very specific path that we have to cut through. There we go. You know, that probably wasn't it, but it, uh, it worked, so... Oh my god, like, how am I supposed to go down that trail without rolling? just does not seem physically possible. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go. Eh, no. Oh my. Alright guys, well guess what? We got a full episode, because now we gotta do this all over again. I knew that was going to be tight. Ah, that is not fun. 
that is not fun at all. All right, well, I guess on, on that bombshell, we are going to end today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and uh, let me know what you liked in the comments because that's what they're there for. And uh, yeah, we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.